Tinsel. How are you doing? As promised, we are here to show you um, all the awesome stuff we bought at Rhinebeck. How's your trip been so far? It's been awesome. Really, Erin and Kristen have been brilliant hosts. I've loved every minute of it. It's pr been pretty jam-packed, except for yesterday was Pajama Sunday, <laughs> <laughs> after too many hours in the car. But So do you want to go first? Oh. Should we start with where we started? I don't have mine in any order, but... No, I don't, neither. Well, since it's on the top, uh, both of us got yeah. one of these. Yep. Which is um, <clears throat> a bison colorware cat. Never used bison before. Uh, both Erin and I got one of these kits, so... And Jen gonna... got one, too. Yes, She was going right. to cast on yesterday, she said. So we're going to do um, a hat along. Yep. We're doing it in back sure. and forth, yeah. I was really excited to find something I didn't think I would there, and that was the Regia Arnie and Carlos <laughs> line. Oh, look, are we twins? No. Oh, I think Sli so. Slightly different. Is that Arnie and Carlos? Yeah, it is, yeah. 3763? Oh, yeah, snap. Yes. snap. Twinsies. And this is the second run. It's the second set of colorways. I got that one, 3763, three, and I also got 3761, which is greens and oranges. Mm -hmm. So I was excited to find those. I, Yeah, I didn't think that they would have stuff like that there. Um, I got uh, three skeins from the Periwinkle Sheep. Hopefully the colors, they are slightly uh, different, but I got three three skeins of that. It's a uh, super wash merino and uh, it's in fingering waste. So I can't wait to use that. What is the base? Is that the watercolors um, base? Yeah, watercolors too. I knit a pair of socks out of that and they are like steel. Beautiful. They're, they're soft but nice. Mm -hmm. I also got a skein from the Periwinkle Sheep. Mine is Merino Aaron. I got this to make a hat for Kristen. These are a bit more teal. And it's um, some charcoal grays and blacks. And this is 180 yards, and it's 100% superwash merino. So, And this um, dyer actually used to be in Vermont, and she's now in Albany, New York. She used to be over on Killington. I bought two skeins of Into the World. Um, one is in tramanto and the other one is uh captain tight pants <laughs> they are both they are both different socks but i love that the uh the, it is sock yarn and beautiful they actually had knitted up samples and you were able to see into the world all the different sock uh, variations and these were more um tonal Mm -hmm. weren't they but then they did do well you'll explain in a minute yep. they did do uh swirling and striping because erin bought some of that version i bought more than two skeins of into <laughs> the world um the first time around i bought this skein of wibbly wobbly timey wimey on the pakoku sock which is 75 percent superwash 25 percent nylon this is the same colorway that jen got it swirls around with black and then a rainbow and then black and a rainbow. And it was really pretty. That was knitted up. And I got this for Kristen. This was also knitted up. This is in Bethel sock, which is Superwash BFL. And this is called the Cat's Pajamas. And it's like navy grays and teals. And then... I got a skein of another Pokoku sock. I hope that's how you say it. And this is called 20... 221B, which I've been told is Sherlock. And it's purples, uh, purpley gray, and then a darker gray. And that one stripes, there. yeah? This was another one that swirls around and... This one wasn't knitted up, and I didn't intend to buy it, but as I was standing in line, I said, Ooh, Jen, can you hand that to me? <laughs> <laughs> so, impulse buy. 
And I got two more skeins for gifts. And the first one I got is Pococo Sock again in Myth Randir. I don't know. And this is greens and grays. That's beautiful. Yeah, I like that a lot. And another, my last Into the World. And Into the World gave out buttons, and you know how I feel about buttons. This is Bethel Sock, which is the 100% BFL, and this is the color Walla Walla. Oh, delicious. Yep. That's, that's, that's all I and got there. And they're all going to swell around, don't they? I think so, yes. Yeah. This one might not, because I don't think this is a palindrome. This is a hand paint, so this this will be more thin stripes and everything mm. else. The, the last two will be more thin stripes, and the bigger the other three will be more bigger swirls mm. than stripes. So, Okay. Um, well, the first stop of the day was to go to socks at rock and that was the only thing we had focused on in the whole journey down we had to be there we were literally gonna trample over susan b anderson <laughs> to get the socks at rock and i've got a story to tell you in a minute about famedom but we'll come to that in a minute i was actually having nightmares that we got to the <laughs> socks that rock booth and it was empty the whole booth was full and all the socks at rock shelves were empty for weeks so, so we we wanted to get the the Rhinebeck um, colorway for 2015. So Erin and I got exactly the same. Well, you got medium weight, right? Oh, I did. I I got lightweight. All oh, right, okay. I got medium weight, so we're not exactly the same, but the, but col the same the colors. So that looks absolutely lovely. That was my number one must-have <laughs> for the day. I've never used socks at Rock, but I'm sure lots lots of you have, and it's absolutely lovely. Um, while I, Erin was standing there, I said, what's that in your hand? <laughs> and she says, oh, I'm not sure whether it's buying it. And I said, there's only one on the rack. I'd like it. <laughs> uh, which I didn't say it like that, actually. She said, I don't really want it. So this is another Socks at Rock. Uh, what's it called? I think that's a rare, rare, gem. rare Gems. So that one is going to, I'm going to use this for a pattern, which I'll show you quickly. And I think the rare gems just means it's a one of a kind. They will never, ever make it again. It was just like using up what was left over of the dyes. So I'm going to use the rare gems to, where's the camera, to make up these uh, mittens. So the, that's it that way. Yeah. So this is the dragonfly um, mitten. So I'll, I'll be using that for the main colour and then I'll just get a, a cream to, to do the dragonfly. So that was another purchase. And We may be hitting one more yarn store before Terry, like literally on the way to the plane. <laughs> that makes me very happy. <laughs> um, and then at the end of the, cause just to finish off Socks at Rock, I, I had an unexpected <laughs> incident at the end of the day in a last minute dash purchase because I couldn't leave Rhinebeck without it. And I got another Socks at Rock, um, which I think looks slightly like the Rhinebeck, but this one does have a lot more. Actually, seeing it on the camera, you can see it's totally different. Yeah. Yeah. And this one is called Gnome de Plume. So for someone that's not used Socks at Rock before, I've certainly bought three three generous skeins. I also got a few more socks that rock. The first one. Oh, before we go there, can I just tell everybody that I was asked to move? <laughs> 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 I was at the socks at rock booth, and how rude is this? I I was innocently waiting on Erin to buy a thousand skeins, <laughs> and Jen Jen likes yarn was buying, and as I was standing there minding my own business. Some woman walked up next to me and she goes, can you move a minute? And I said, excuse me? And she goes, can you just move? I want to I want to say hello to Erin. And I was moved out of the way. I was the entourage hold, holding everyone's bags. And I was just asked to move. Move out of the way. Carry on. <laughs> I didn't know that till after. But the lady we met was very nice. And I can't remember your name. So please remind so you me know, of what your we name are, is. I am only joking. Yes. You know, to, to take your name. And so, I was shocked. because. So if, if you're if you're the lady, I am only joking. I can't me remember her name. Erin. I think it's Yankee Knitter is her Ravelry name. Yeah. It's Yankee something. It was so nice Knitter. to meet you. We've got a yes. photograph. We do. Yeah. Yeah. 
So my other Socks at Rock purchases, oh, and Socks at Rock is 100% superwash merino. There's no nylon in it, but I have knit socks with it before and never had an issue. Um, so I got another lightweight in the color Pumpkin Patched. I don't remember that. Yep. This must have been a sneak buy. I don't remember no, this one. No, same one. I bought four. And this is going <laughs> to be a gift for someone, so someone watch your mail. They oh. don't know about it. Um... And I also, I can't, I went with a list of colorways I was hoping to find, and none of them were there. But that's okay. I, I, I was able to find a few. This is another Rare Gems in the lightweight. It's just, it's like all the colors. Beautiful. And this is very reminiscent of a color I was hoping to find, so I'm going to do with this what I was going to do with that. What's that called? Uh? This is a Rare, ge a rare Gems. Oh, right. well, I was looking for Caddy Wampus, which is now on my Christmas list for Christmas. Uh, Kristen, I've already told her. And I got one other skein, and I'm already knitting it, but I'll show it to you anyway, kicked up. And this is lightweight also, and the color is Forget-Me-Nots. And forgive me for saying this, but this reminds me of a Red Heart colorway called o Oceana or something. It's blues and greens, and when the blues and greens meets, there's just a hint of purple when you knit with it. It's really pretty. And I took a picture of the ball with the band and then promptly lost the band. Mm -hmm. So that's all I got at Socks at Rock, which is half of what I had budgeted for. I planned to get eight skeins. So. Yep. Next. Um, well, the only other purchase that I've got, uh, which is non-stand, non I mean, I've bought a couple of other skeins, mm -hmm. but you can buy, buy them anywhere. I won't bother showing you. You'll have seen it a hundred times. Well, we wanted to go to the Miss Babs um, stall and we tried or attempted in the morning. It was like 50 women deep. If, uh, at, probably longer. Yeah, at, well, well, that's just into the stall. You couldn't even see anything. It was and out the, the door, around the, purchase, the corner. The purchase um, queue was literally wrapped around the whole, the whole tent. So we just gave up in the morning. Uh, we got on with our day. We had a brilliant day. Um, I've never been to Rhinebeck before. Um, I was um, four years ago. Erin was showing me um, the ropes, where to go, where not to go. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, we went back to Into the World, with, and the whole store was practically empty. The shelves were bare. It was like my yeah. so socks that rock nightmare. That's like what it and I still managed to purchase one more thing from Into the World, which I've, which I've already shown you, because mm -hmm. I only bought one thing in the morning. Yep. And we'd lost the will to live in the morning with the Into World queue because the internet went down. And <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure everybody in the United States was saying, what the hell is happening? Because yep. everybody was buying it right back. I showed them the, in the video that I posted yesterday is the line yes. of us waiting. It was so long. It but it moved fast once the internet got picked up. Yeah. But we weren't going back to Miss Babs, and I think we had kind of given up on on even mm. there being, especially after we saw Into the World, I didn't think there was going to be anything left at the Miss Babs booth, mm. but we were wrong. So we went <laughs> We went there later on. We, we'd sort of said, right, we're, we're, we're getting ready to go now. We've seen what we need to see. Well, let's just try uh, Miss Babs and Into the World again, which we did. And to our amazement... There was only, say, 10 women deep in yep. in the booth. It was more comfortable to get around. And shockingly, there was hardly anybody at the till. You were immediately served. Yep. Um, and so they had three registers. That was obviously a sign from the yarn gods that we had to buy. Yes. So I bought out of my comfort zone because I, I am... Don't, I don't He's like allergic to variegated. Variegation. No, I hate it. So I've bought something which is slightly out of my comfort zone, but... I have been like a nutcase for the Vermont fall. Yeah. I've been leaf peeping like mad. And I thought this reminded me of the fall. Um, oh, it's absolutely lovely. What's that one called? Uh, Wanna Go Crazy for some reason. But this is the Yowza Base uh, Superwash Merino. And it's 560 yards of, of gloriness. So I, it reminds me of a blast furnace, like 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 a fire, mm -hmm. like a fire. So that was purchase number one, and then I made another purchase, and this one is called Gal Noir, uh, something to do with the night. Then if it's noir or black, mm -hmm. uh, and that guy, this is a Yowza, and it's a four ply light worsted yarn, and again, this is more tonal. I was told, but it. It'll probably be variegated, so I'll probably have a fit when I go home. 
And then finally, and Erin's got one, mm -hmm. the same but similar. Uh, we bought the Yummy 2 Ply Dynamic Duos, and this is in the Slate Perfectively Perfectly Reckless. Yeah. So the, the gray is the slate, and there's two skeins of that wrapped in here, and the multicolored is the Perfectly Reckless. Mm. And there's 1,200 yards in here, and it's 100% superwash merino. And we're going to knit. This was knit up in this colorway there, and I fell in love with it. We're going to knit, uh, it's called Loop by somebody, <laughs> and that's the shawl. I'm sure it's on Ravelry. It's really beautiful, but this is, should, this is actually the one actually in the picture too, so. I got a few other little things. Um, four years ago, I knit reindeer sweaters for the dogs, and I went back because I knew the same people were going to be there, so I went to the Style Hounds booth, and I got the reindeer ascot for the dogs because um, I'm sure for 2.2 seconds the big dogs will keep it on and maybe we can get a nice blurry picture. And then I also bought the houndstooth version because I apparently have nothing better to do than <laughs> for the dogs. And I also saw this knitted up. It's called Betty's Sweater. It's not that great. This is actually a terrible picture. Um, because all the detail is along the back, it's heavily cabled, and it was gorgeous. And it's, I'm going to try and beautiful. knit it in the same cream color. Probably with the leftover I have from knitting the owl in one. It's cashmere, so Dewey's going to have a cashmere sweater. So if he wasn't <laughs> high maintenance enough already. I also got this little Christmas ornament, because I have a Christmas tree in my studio that the wonderful Sarah Hepworth sent me. Um, it's a little felted ball sheep, and I picked out the one that had two different size eyes because I just thought it was even more adorable. And I still have another bag. I don't you know how. It doesn't surprise me if you want. <laughs> no, this is the last thing that was for myself. I bought a t-shirt with sheep on it, which I'm sure will surprise you all because my, my entire wardrobe, I think, Consists of sheep shirts, knitting shirts, Batman shirts, and things I've knit. <laughs> That's about it. So. I bought a t-shirt as well, but I forgot to bring it in. It's the same, same color. It just has a ram on it. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. I almost bought both, to be completely honest with you. And as you know, we met up with Zoe, and uh, she brought right. us all this... Um, bag full of British Thanks. candies. And Thanks, Zoe. There's a, what is this called? A clip-on charm, which we're going to use as a stitch marker, I'm sure. And magnets and keychains, and she knit us a coffee cozy and candies, and so that's awesome. And Jen Likes Yarn brought me some scrap yarn. We, we traded mini skeins, because... I'm under the delusion that I am going to make a, what's it called? A barn raising quilt in 2016. <laughs> That's my goal, to knit all the squares. We also got these mind-blowing, seriously, pretzels. <gasps> Gorgeous. <laughs> they were chocolate-covered pretzels, which I've had before, and they were delicious. But they had peanut butter-covered pretzels, and I was like, That's disgusting. And they let us try sample it, and then I bought 12. <laughs> Immediately. Terry bought three and went back and got 12 more because <laughs> they were so good. And for Kristen, we had had this before. It's, uh, you'll, you'll have to smell a vision, taste a vision. Utterly Ideas Fudge. We had got it four years ago and it was really good. And Kristen couldn't make it. So I picked up the vanilla chocolate swirl fudge and the chocolate fudge. And now that I've made this video, we can actually open it, and she'll be thrilled. I don't know if there's anything else in here. Let's see. Oh, and buttons. We got Into the World buttons. We got Bison buttons. We got Miss Babs buttons somewhere around here. And then I... Hugo the Button Monster is getting a girlfriend, because <laughs> I bought 15 buttons. <laughs> <laughs> one for Terry, one for Jen, three for some other people, and ten for myself. That's not gluttonous or anything. No. Oh, we both got the same t-shirt on. Yep, long sleeve. We're sisters. 
<laughs> we we pre-ordered, which was awesome because we got to the souvenir tent and the line was longer than Miss Babs. It was ridiculous. Oh. The line went all the way outside the tent and then they had like amusement park lines like you would see at Disney World mm-hmm. inside to purchase t shirts, but we had pre ordered. And you just went, you just went up to the corner like it was the speakeasy, and you said, "Give me my shirts," and they said, "Here you go." <laughs> so that was, I was glad easy. we did that, yeah, because then when we went back later, when there was no line, they were all picked over, and they, they just didn't seem to be, no, be very much no. at all. I got a poster from 2012 too, because it has kind of like um, Andy Warhol sheep on it, in all different colors. And let's see. Uh, oh, and we've gone to a couple of yarn stores, and I picked up, because I know I will forget to show it again. This is from Six Loose Ladies, which, um, six, five? Six. six. Um, this is Juniper Moon Farm Moonshine, which is baby alpaca, wool, and silk. And I don't know if there's a color, there's just a color number, fifth, foot number four. So I'm going to knit a hat for myself out of that. We took Margaret to that shop last year, and she really we, we, liked we it. We had a photograph outside, yeah. and Kristen <laughs> was sneaky because she t- took the photograph, and above our heads it says "loose ladies," <laughs> not the six. It just says "loose ladies." <laughs> and then we happened on a yarn shop today. We today we went to the Queechy Gorge, and oh, we went fantastic. to the Cabot Cheese Store. Delicious and, cheese. Yeah, mm. we had our appetizers to breakfast there, and then we went to a diner. I had my first pancakes yeah. today. Yep. And maple syrup, and Vermont maple, maple syrup. syrup. Yeah, beautiful. And then we went to Woodstock, Vermont, and just walked around. They have a lot of little shops. Terry broke everything he touched. <laughs> <laughs> I did offer. I did offer to pay. Uh, he did. And we found in Whipple Tree Yarn Shop in Woodstock um, the Regia Perfect, mm. which Sarah Hepworth had sent me, and I knit a pair of socks for Kristen. And this one is more patterned, and oh, mm. I love it. So now I have this, and this is my other skein that I have. So two more skeins of that. I got the same skein, but I haven't. I'm not prepared. Yep. I haven't brought her over. You're fired. I bought. I bought about eight things from Six Loose Ladies. Yep. Um, oh, oh, should I go and get the tape tape measure? The duck. Uh, yes. 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 Be right back. Real quick, we found it after we recorded, so I'm going to sneak it in. This is the tape measure that. Terry got at the Six Loose Ladies, and it's really cute. Isn't that adorable? I've never seen anything like this. 3D tape measure. It'll take too long to find it, sorry. But it's a rubber duck, but a tape measure. Loved it. Yep. Again, Erin had it in her hand, and I think she was going to purchase it, but I it had to go in my hand. Well, he was on the lookout for tape measures. That was his, his goal. No art yarn and tape measures. Uh, 100%. Yep. Uh, but what was I going to say? I was going to say something. It must have been a lie. It must have been. Yep, must have don't been. I, I don't know. <laughs> so we had a brilliant day at Rhinebeck. Yep. Um, journey was fine. Everything was yep. okay. Yep. And we had a great day. And we met some brilliant people. Zoe and Edie and uh, Jen. Jen likes yarn. It mm-hmm. was... And uh, I met Minerva Turkey and nearly had a stroke. Uh, I was screaming Minerva at the top of, top of my voice. Um, and who else did I say I wanted, I wanted to see? We saw quite you a few people. You saw that lady from Nelkin? Oh, yeah. I saw I saw Laura Nelkin. Uh, she does, she's on the Crafty Channel, so I said hello to her. Mm-hmm. And then there was other people that we didn't say hello to, but we, but just, we, recognize. We, but we just recognize and, and we For, gazed on. I yeah. saw Amy Lamar, I don't know how many times during I saw the, the yarn harlot and just would yell, yarn harlot, and point, and then tr- <laughs> be so embarrassed that I would turn around. <laughs> I think so, I did that twice. There was lots of podcasters there, yep. u- usual faces that we see on, mm-hmm. on the screens, and, and we all admire. Um, I got a lot of compliments on my sweater, which oh, I was surprised about. Brilliant, brilliant, um, yeah. Even when we stopped for at the rest area on the way home, someone came up and said, I've been seeing you walking around Rhinebeck all day. So, that was good. Yeah, it was a good time. And we had snow. And we saw lots of dead animals on the drive. Mm-hmm. So, and we still have webs to go. Oh, can't wait. On the way... Literally on the way to the airport, um, and after we leave Webbs, there'll probably be clothing flying out of the car. As Terry says, I must make room because he, we're a little worried I'm, about weight. I am worried about weight going home, and I will have to probably leave my shoes and go home in slippers and socks. 
Um, but the day at Rainback was, was brilliant. So if you've not been before, I'd encourage you to go. Mm -hmm. The showgrounds are amazing. Mm -hmm. The the colour of the trees, it, the, it, this whole season, the whole day. There was a queue, I don't know why, suspiciously for artichokes for some reason. So people wanted to eat artichokes and there was a massive queue for the falafel. Yep. You also um, got dragonfly fibers, but oh. you'll have to wait and see that. And he's knitting it now. Oh, yeah. I got, I, sorry. Yeah. I'm, yep. I'm knitting uh, the killer shawl by some strange person. I can't remember <laughs> the, the guy's name. Um, yeah. So the, sorry. That's downstairs. Yep. So I, I have got more yarn. I say I've got yarn at six. I've, I've got loads more yarn. Yeah. Um, it, it'll go in the room of shame at home. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so well done. He did say that I have more yarn than is in the room of shame, though. I have to say, uh, yes, Erin beats me hand, hands down. <laughs> I've probably got maybe five percent less than you. Oh, okay, that's so, not that bad. No, it, it's huge. It's that 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 is it. That is huge. Yep. So I'm in the inner sanctum here. I never thought <laughs> I never thought we'd get to see inside Erin's. Um, There's only room been here. two visitors. Ooh, you ooh. and Margaret. Very lucky people. Yeah. So, well, I think that's all, that's it. and I hope you like everything that you saw, and um, we got everything we could, we came home, and there wasn't one thing we wish we had, no. had found. I, I'm just glad we, I went back for Miss Babs, because the the last, uh, you know, the two skein mm -hmm. one, I, I hadn't bought that, and I thought, oh, it's a bit out, a bit, a bit expensive, what shall I do, what shall I do, and we went, went outside, and literally within five minutes, I says, do you mind waiting? <laughs> I cannot leave the showground without going to buy it. Yep. And then on the way past, I went back into socks that rock and ended up buying that gnome's delusion. <laughs> it jumped so. into his bag. So I, I had I had to buy it. Yep. Um, but overall, a hundred percent happy. Yep. No regrets, none whatsoever. I got what. Well, I got actually what I didn't think I needed, but I actually did need. And I there's not one we purchase a, a regret. Yeah. The variegation might be another matter, but I'm sure the quality of Miss Babs, because I would never, we don't get the, what my number one rule was, I needed to buy things that I can't buy in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I, if anything I could buy in the UK, I was not allowed to purchase it. So uh, I, I, st I, I stuck to that. Yep. So that's all from me. And I had a list and I stuck to my list and I was under budget significantly. Both of us under budget, well done. Yep. But I'm going to smash hell out of webs when, when, <laughs> I, go, <laughs> when I go into webs. So I'll, they'll probably uh, be closed left in the car yep. car parking lot yep. on the way home. Yep, so if you're in Northampton on, on the day that we go and you see a pile <laughs> of clothes, you know Terry was there. <laughs> well, I think that is all. I hope you guys are all doing well and I will be back on... There will be no whip video on Wednesday. I'll be too busy. But I'll be back on Friday to show you what I've been working on and what I have finished. Okay. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.